the one thing I'd say is it's hard to get into a room, it's hard to get an agent, it's hard to see people if you don't go to some sort of drama school. You know, I was lucky and I can't say that for everyone, you, you won't just become an actor if you decide you want to be and you think you can walk into an audition room. Um, join somewhere like um, the factory or um, the Gaiety School of Acting. Um, and th the main thing about it is just be, you have to be fearless with it, you have to just throw yourself at everything. And it might not be someone who reflects your own life, but you can certainly bring um, aspects of your own life into every character. And I've done that. Um, every part I've ever played, um, I've used parts of my life to help me with that character. No, I do get it. I get loads of time. <laughs> I'm um, a big um, Breaking Bad fan. Um, I've been watching Breaking Bad. I, I, I watched up into season five, episode three, and I left it for a few months, but I believe they only started showing the last three or four episodes, so I caught up on it, and I love it. But I can't wait for Homeland to come back. There are probably only two shows that I've been addicted to. Um, the missus got me um, hooked on Grey's Anatomy for a while. It was a bit of a... Uh, Winger at that, but I stopped watching that. Um, Codeline, um, I love Codeline's new album. Um, James Vincent McMorrow, um, like a lot of sad stuff actually. Um, Mick Flannery, um, the original Rude Boys because they're, um, I listen to all their stuff, they're really good mates of my brothers. So before my brothers, my brother, before they um, done their first big thing on YouTube, which you know made them, I suppose. Um, they were doing a lot of rehearsals in my man's house, so uh, I, I followed the lads, Rob, Neddy and Walchie, so I'm big fans of them, so I'll listen to anything they do. I can pretend to follow my face. No, stand back like that and no, go. That's my party trick. <laughs>